In this video, I want to demonstrate how to float this part, add the mirrored image part of this jaw, our middle solid jaw, and then remate them in the assembly. So first, I'm going to right click on the fixed jaw, come down and select float. Now its planes are no longer locked to the assembly planes, I can move it wherever I want. And I want to insert the other two components, the opposite jaw and the solid jaw. So I'm going to select insert components. Because I don't have anything open, it'll open up the last folder I was working in. So here's the opposite jaw, I'll insert it. And I'll repeat that procedure to insert the solid jaw. And just click and place it in the assembly. I'll zoom out and move these jaws around. I would like this solid middle jaw to be fixed to the assembly planes. So next, I'll expand it in the tree. I'll select the front plane, hold control, select the assembly front plane, release control and add the coincident mate. I'll do that again for the assembly top plane and this part's top plane. And a final time between the right assembly plane and the right part plane. As soon as I release control, notice how the mates pop up as long as I don't move my mouse around a lot, and then I can make them coincident. So this part is now made it fixed in the assembly. Next, I want to mate the front plane of the solid jaw to each of the front planes of the movable jaws. So I've selected the front plane of the solid jaw. I'm going to hold control, select the front plane of the one movable jaw, release control, again add coincident. And I'll do that again for the other jaw. So I'll select the front plane of the solid jaw. I'll expand this folder, hold control, select the front plane of this jaw, release control, make them coincident. The last coincidence mate I want to add for now will be this face and this face. So I'll select these two faces after rotating around and holding control. I'll release control and add the coincident mate. Do that one last time between these two jaws. So I'm holding control while I select the faces. I'll release control, select coincident mate. I'll just go back to the isometric view. And now we can see these jaws only move parallel or along the x-axis.